What is happening YouTube? This is Hayes Anderson with a quick video for you. I'm in the process of testing out a couple op amps and I just wanted to show you what that involves. Over here on the right I have a function generator that is outputting a 10k hertz sine wave at 0.4 volts. That's 400 millivolts. On the left here I have my oscilloscope which is going to monitor the uh, circuit that I put together. This is the circuit. It is using a UA741 op amp and the red alligator clip there is the input and then I have my two probes so the probe here at the top is monitoring the input signal and the probe at the bottom is monitoring the output signal. Now I was having issues with this. I had the circuit set up correctly but my grounds were not really closely put together and I wasn't getting good response out of the oscilloscope. If we look at the oscilloscope, the blue waveform is what's coming out of the function generator at 0.4 volts, and the yellow is what is being amplified by the op amp. If you look very carefully, you can see that the signal is being inverted. Now, a lot of audiophiles are always concerned about this. One of the things we like to do with op amps is get a dual package op amp, and we use one to amplify, and then we use the other op amp inside that package to revert the signal back to its correct polarity. Now why am I doing this? Well my guitar player recently purchased this distortion pedal and it uses the ubiquitous LM308 op amp. Now underneath the oscilloscope probe here you can't see it. I have that chip. Thankfully the person that put this pedal together uses the socket so I was able to get the chip out very easily. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to replace this uh, UA741 with the LM308 and see what's going on because this pedal wasn't working very well and the first thing that I suspect is that it's the chip. These LM308 chips are discontinued. Uh, they're very infamous for being special magic sauce. And you have to be very careful because when you purchase them on the internet, there's a good chance you're going to get a fake. So my first uh, assumption is that this is a fake chip. I want to say this. It's right under there. You can kind of see it. I would move this. Ah, let's go ahead and move it. it. We'll be fine. And there it is. So let's replace it and see what happens. And well, I'll be darned, that is a beautiful looking signal right there. I guess that is a real LM308 chip, a bona fide chip. Not sure what is going on with this particular circuit. But, uh, you know, I got to say, this is not the worst job I've ever seen putting together something like this completely homemade. Not by far. But uh, it's a little, it's a little bit, you know, how you doing in there, some of this soldering. It's kind of wild how this person did it. Most of the stuff is on the top. Those diodes are very interesting. He's got them double stacked. So, yeah, I mean, next we could maybe try to see what's going on with the transistors. But if you want to know the truth, what I'm probably going to do with this is just desolder the whole thing and salvage these parts and do something else with this wonderful LM308 chip that I now have. So, cool, at the very least we got some cool parts to work with.